Welcome back to Midday. Patrick Blennerhassett joins us. How are you? Thanks for having me. <laughs> Welcome. So you are a writer, a journalist. You're a Jack Webster Fellowship Award winner. You've accomplished a lot. Yeah, And you've yeah. also lived in Kamloops, even though you're in Vancouver now. I am a former Kamloops boy. I yep. graduated from John Peterson Secondary School in nice. 2000, which doesn't exist anymore, correct? I know, correct? my high school's not a high school anymore either. It's, I think my high school got eaten by another yeah. bigger high school. <laughs> yeah, yeah, something yeah. like that happened. I know it's not the same anymore. But welcome back. Thank you. And you've accomplished a lot since you've been here. Uh, a, a little bit, yeah. Yeah, I, no, say, I yeah. think you've accomplished a lot. So you have three books under your belt already and a fourth on the way, possibly coming this fall. Yeah. But right now we've got this incredible book and it's, it's called A Forgotten Legend. Mm -hmm. So tell us a bit about um, how this book became. Oh, man. So I think the whole thing was that started was uh, basically I, I, my dad and uh, the, the protagonist of the book were, were family friends. Yeah. So that's where I kind of got the story. And essentially, he's a 92-year-old Sikh field hockey player. Yeah. And he's the greatest field hockey player of all time. And, but nobody knows who he is. They don't know who he is in India. They don't know who he is in Canada. He's been a Canadian citizen since 2000. Right. And essentially, the reason for this is that he's, he's Sikh in, in, a, in India. And that's part of a religious uh, a subjugated minority. Right. So the whole story is that essentially, you know, imagine if you were walking down the street with Wayne Gretzky and nobody, nobody noticed no, so, him, yeah. right? So I went to India on a journalist visa to meet him and, and to write the book. And uh, we went all over the country and never once did he sign an autograph or wow. anything like that. So that's sort of the genesis of the story is right. uh, what created this man who he won three gold medals for his country. Um, and why is he not a and national hero? And no one knows who hero? he is. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Wow, that's amazing. Yeah. That's great. So how, and how did you find out about him? How did you hear about him? Oh, like I said, just through my, uh, my dad and his from, okay, son so just from your dad. worked okay. together. And essentially, you know, with any good journalist, as you know, sometimes the opportunity just presents itself. Yeah. And he said, you know, why don't you go to India and stay with him? And, and I basically lived with a three-time oh, gold amazing. medalist. You know, we had, uh, we had cornflakes in the morning together. Wow. And we were, we were bunk mates. And at night, we would uh, share whiskey and talk about his life. And, That's amazing. Uh, some of the stories that he's been through. And it, it just, like, it was so remarkable. I, yeah. I came back and I said, OK, we, we got to publish this. Yep. So, yeah. And how long did it take for you to complete the book? Oh man, uh, about a solid year of yeah. just straight writing. I, I sort of estimated it out as about 50 to 60 hours a week. Wow. So yeah, it's a lot of work. And what does he think about the book? He really likes it. Yep. Yeah, he's quite happy. Yeah, I he's mean, okay he, with it. <laughs> yeah, yeah. He's quite an idealist, and, and that's part of what I really admire about him is that he, he always says, you know, it was my job to score goals for my country, right? Right. And, and you, you think about it, how often do we ask our athletes to, to wade into political discussions, right? Yeah. When do they stick a microphone in Sidney Crosby's face and say, who did you vote for in the election, right? right? But he's been uh, sort of unapologetically forced into this debate which is essentially quickly in a nutshell is that India is 80% Hindu and 1% is Sikh, right? right? So they've elevated another field hockey star named Dan Chand who has kind of taken his place. Oh, okay. But he's sort of the second best, maybe third best field hockey right. player. So it's, it's really a story of sort of religious subjugation and how, um, you know, we... We elevate our athletes sort of based on their statistics and right. accolades, but they've sort of pushed him down because of his background. So Wow. Yeah. That's an interesting story. I love that you're able to take that journey. Yeah. What's yeah. been your favorite part though of um, either writing the book or heading over there to write this? India is I don't know if you've been to India. I've heard but it's incredible. I've never been. India is I, I I try to describe it to people. It's just such a sens sensory explosion. Yeah. It's it's just organized chaos you get off the plane and there's 50 people right in your face there's yep. no personal space there's no sanitation there's no um there's no privacy yeah um so having been to india twice you sort of you get used to it but yep. i i definitely think that there's something you know um not only heartbreaking sad but very magical about mm -hmm. india it's a very very interesting country with a yeah. very rich history so it's all in the book so yeah. hopefully people will 
That's buy incredible. a copy and, and read about it. Everyone yeah. that goes to India says it's just like such an amazing experience. It, it is, just yeah. gets like right to your soul. It does, yeah. Yeah, that's incredible. So you are going to be at Chapters doing a book signing tomorrow at 1 o'clock. So head on over there and you're going to be there for a bit of time. I'll be there for a couple hours. Come over and say hi and, and chat about the book yeah. and, and looking forward to it. Excellent. That's yeah. amazing. And we're looking forward to your other book that should be coming out in the fall as well. Yeah, You've yeah. Busy. So that one's totally complete as well. It's ready yeah, to go. that one that we're pushing that one back because the success of this, we're yeah. still doing press for it. And obviously with the Olympics coming up this summer, yeah. there's obviously going to be a little a bit of a windfall with it. Too, yeah. With it. Yeah, so. That's excellent. All right. Mm -hmm. Well, head on over to Chapters tomorrow. You can meet Patrick for yourself, grab a book, get it signed and have a chat. Thanks so much for coming on. Thanks for All having right, me. All right. We'll have you again on when your next book comes <laughs> out. Thanks so <laughs> much. Good. We've got more midday coming up for you right after this.